Hi friends, welcome back to Hannah's Wonder Books. Today we're going to be reading Stork Spills the Beans, written and illustrated about by Richard Hefter. This book is about Smarty Stork. He has the answer for every question, including who delivers babies. Let's see what happens when we read Stork Spills the Beans. Stork Spills the Beans, written and illustrated by Richard Hefter. Stork Spills the Beans. One day, Lion and Alligator were sitting around in the park talking about things. I wonder where babies come from, said Lion. <laughs> That's easy, Alligator replied. They come from a cabbage leaf. <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've ever heard, laughed a Lion. Babies do not come from under a cabbage leaf. It's impossible. It's damp and dirty under a cabbage leaves. And everyone knows you have to keep babies clean and dry. All right, wise guy, squealed Alligator. If they don't come from under the, a cabbage leaf, where do they come from? I don't know for sure, said Lion, scratching his mane. But I do know that you won't find babies under cabbage leaves or the lettuce, or gar the gar carrot plants, or anywhere else in the garden. Well, you're wrong, said Alligator. Babies come from under cabbage leaves. <laughs> they do not, giggled Lion. Do so, shouted Alligator. Do not, do so, do not, do so. Just then, Elephant passed by where Lion and Alligator were arguing. Hold on there, she said. What are you two fighting about? This silly Alligator, said Lion, just told me that babies come from under cabbage leaves. Have you ever heard anything so funny? Elephant laughed. <laughs> and said, where do you think babies come from, Lion? I don't know for sure, admitted Lion, but I know it's not from under a leaf. No, it isn't, agreed Elephant. I can tell you where babies come from. Lion and Alligator looked up at Elephant. Well, they both asked. Babies, Elephant said, are brought by Stork. Stork delivers babies. Yes, so, said Lion. Of course, that's right, that's it. Stork delivers babies, after all. He's the postmaster. I still think they come from under cabbage leaves, and you can't tell me Stork delivers them, roared Alligator. Well, there's only one way to make sure, said Elephant. Let's go to the post office and ask Stork. Then you will know for sure. They all left the park, went across the street, and went across the street to the post office. In the post office, they found Stork busily stacking packages. Stork, they all said at once. We have a question. Hold on there, said Stork. One at a time. I'm always happy to answer questions. I just have to answer every question. I have an answer for every question. But you will have to ask them one at a time because I can't answer two at a time. Stork, said Lion. Alligator thinks that babies come from under cabbage leaves. No, they don't said Stork, but I can tell you about a carload of cabbage leaves I sent to a rabbit in Memphis once. I remember it very well. It was July and very hot. Those leaves were heavy, too. I had to put them on special delivery so they wouldn't spoil. Wait a minute, Stork, Elephant trumpeted. That wasn't the question. 
Well, then, what is it, then? Sounded like a question to me, Elephant said. The question is, Stork, do you deliver babies? Stork stood up on a box. Ah, <clears throat> yes, well, um, I've been asked that before, and the answer is pretty easy. I delivered boxes of letters and soft fuzzy sweaters, refrigerators, percolators, radiators, and ventilators. I've brought lemonade and marmalade, lamp shakes, lamp shapes, spades, and ropes in a braid. I've even delivered a bag of flags and boxes with tags, envelopes, and cantaloupe, kaleidoscopes, and antelopes. I've delivered most everything, balloons, and spoons, and hairy baboons, hats and bats, and coats for cats, snakes, and flakes, and wedding cakes. Everything comes through the post office. As postmaster, I delivered airplanes, canes, and weather vanes, but I don't deliver babies. Fragile beans. You don't? exclaimed Alligator. You don't bring them? cried Lion. If it's not you, said Elephant, where do babies come from? Well, said Stork, it's very, really, really simple. I can tell you in one word where babies come from. I know, I know, said Alligator. The word is store. Nope, said Stork. I know, I know, said Lion. The word is Mars. Babies come from Mars. Nope, said Stork. Well, where do babies come from, sighed Lion. Will we ever find out? Yep, said Stork. I'll tell you right now. Babies come from mothers. Yes, they do. See? I hope you enjoyed listening to Stork Spills the Beans. I'll see you next time on Hand is Wonder Books. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, friends.